Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Rei Boot. With one click, Rei Boot can help you enter or exit recovery mode absolutely free. You can also repair over 150 iOS, iPadOS, and tvOS system problems like stuck on an Apple logo, a constant boot loop, recovery mode, and so much more. It works on the latest versions of iOS, including iOS 14 and iOS 15 betas. So if you're encountering any issues with any of your Apple devices, I would highly appreciate it if you check out Rei Boot. Links, of course, will be in the description down below. So today we're taking a look at iOS 15 developer beta 2. The software has been out for several days and as per usual I like to give you guys a follow-up video on how the software has been performing so far. In this one we're going to talk about some of the new improvements, some of the new features, bugs and bug fixes within the latest beta. Now in this video I also like to talk about expected release dates for iOS 15 public beta. You guys have been asking so I'm going to do my best to share with you guys when we can expect iOS 15 public beta and that should be relatively soon so let's just dive right into this one i was 15 developer beta 2 brought quite a bit of improvements this one came in at one and a half gigs approximately if you're updating from beta 1 to beta 2 there's some new features and enhancements including a new splash screen for the notes application so when you first launch the notes application you get some of the new hashtags you also get some of the new mentions also activity view some of the new stuff that's happening within notes will be on a splash screen when you first launch the application same thing happens for the weather application one of my favorite features of the weather app is the new notifications within the lock screen it's pretty cool you guys definitely will enjoy and appreciate that feature uh, there's also some improvements to the focus in focus UI within the control center and things like that. So overall refinements with this beta and improvements, major improvements to FaceTime, which is one of the first things I like to talk about when Apple released FaceTime with iOS 15 uh, beta 1, uh, a lot of things weren't working. Even FaceTime wasn't working properly. With beta 2, it's an entirely different experience. FaceTime is working as intended. There's also new screen sharing options which have been made available in beta 2. If you haven't watched my initial coverage where I demo that, links will be down below, but you can now officially share your screen with another iOS user on a FaceTime call and that is working very well. You can also share play so you can watch a movie or a TV show simultaneously with another iOS user on a FaceTime call. That is working very well. And a lot of that stuff wasn't even here yet with Beta 1. So major improvements within FaceTime in Beta 2. I also like to talk about some improvements to Focus. Now, in my experience, Focus wasn't working properly initially. But now I do have to say the Focus options are now working as intended for me. Things are working properly. Notifications and things like that for the Focus. When you go ahead and set it up, things are looking very, very good and very uh, easy to use now because when I first got my hands on focus it was sort of uh, confusing at first because I would set it up but the actual uh, focus features were not working properly so it's confusing now it's clear things are working as intended now battery is one thing you guys always ask about and I never like to judge the battery on beta software uh, but I do want to say and I do want to answer that question that battery in beta 1 wasn't uh, very good and that is to be expected I did get through my day uh, but in beta 2 it is a lot better in my opinion. So it is way better actually than it was in beta one. And that's obviously a good sign. Now, one of my biggest concern has been the Wi-Fi and cell connection in iOS 15 beta two. Yeah, it is still beta, but the issue that we had in beta one still persists in beta 2 so wi-fi would disconnect randomly although you're connected to wi-fi it would continue to disconnect as well as the cell network so hopefully with beta 3 we'll see improvements here uh, but yeah wi-fi and cell connection issues still persist till this day in beta 2 and yeah there's also some minor crashes some applications continue to crash for some users also control center sometimes freezes for me for whatever reason and there's some freezing in some applications but overall i do want to say iOS 15 developer beta 2 has brought quite a bit of improvement, especially to FaceTime, the battery. So we're in the right direction here. We're going in the right track. Now, in terms of public beta for iOS 15, expected release for that, I would say, is the week of the 5th for July. So right after the 4th of July, on the week of the 5th of July, we should see iOS 15 public beta launch. I'll keep you guys posted. Make sure you follow me on Twitter for more information. And of course, I'll have a video for you guys as soon as that drops as well. So expected release dates again for iOS 15 public beta should be on the week of the 5th 
for July. And I have to say, so far, I think you guys are going to really dig some of the new updates and features within iOS 15. There's a few things that hopefully Apple will continue to improve before the official launch. I'm hoping so. Maybe even new features could be coming before the official launch. But so far, so good. Battery is better. Performance overall is better. iOS 15 definitely in the right direction. Thank you for watching this quick update, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.